Alright, everybody, this is Chris, and we're getting down to the end here. So let's go ahead and create a new folder for this admin. So we'll just say admin and hit enter. And we're just going to create a new file. Control S, save it right now. Call it index.blade.php. Save it. Say at extends master. And at section content. And at stop. And we'll just say. We have a div. We'll say span 12. Put it in a well. It's actually span. Let's go ahead and span eight. Put it in a well. And we're just going to simply say h4. Just say hello. And we're going to say auth user. Username, we're going to say uppercase words. So you see words and there. And that's going to be it. So now let's run it. Actually, let's register. So let's, we have a in the home controller an unexpected E. I don't know why it does this. And it does this all the time. So it's on line 38. Where is it here? Home controller 38. And it's because I have a dollar sign. And back in here, and we can refresh. So let me see if I can register. So I'm going to say falling down. To you at you.com, give it a password and register. And did it even take the route? It shouldn't have. Let's go ahead and okay. I, don't, I never did the routes for it. I did take it. Did I do the route? I can't remember whether I did the route or not. I did do the route. I just didn't do the post or the uh, login. So route post login. So we need a registration works. This needs to be home controller at post login. We're gonna route get log out. And it's going to be at home controller at post nope, at log out. Now, let me go ahead and make a control another controller here. I'm going to make an admin controller real quick. So controller and whatever ours and make controller. Enter name the home the controller class. I'm gonna say admin controller. Enter. And it created here. It's gonna give us a bunch of restful routes here. Or resources make it a restful resource but I'm not interested in that I'm just going to simply have one and it's going to be public function get index and that is going to be return view make and it's going to be admin 
dot index. Yeah, we save that now and go back out to the routes and we're gonna use a group to filter. So if you were making a lot of things in your admin route, this is what you would do. You could say route group. And it's gonna be an array. And your array is before and alt. You go outside as your parentheses here. And you declare your function or your route. Close it off here, and inside here, we're going to say route get admin. We're going to pass in the admin controller, so admin, where it's located, admin controller at get index. Okay, I'm sure I've made some errors along the way. We don't need a user model because Laravel provides one for us. And you're better off using this instead of making your own because you're, if you're required to use this. All of this right here is required and you're required to have at least these to get off identifier and get off password. So just better off using theirs. So let's refresh this and see what happens. There's no errors, but I am. So you at you.com, then the password. Let's cross your fingers. I hope there's no errors. And there we go. So if you remember, let's break this down. So here we had some website. Remember we said the name was going to be uppercase words for this in the master page. So let's go back to the master page here. So uppercase words, auth user username as a nav header, and you can see that we switched our the side nav to actual now the authenticated users nav. So add post view users and log out, and we're saying hello falling down in the admin field. So now we can continue on and create you know posts or view user other users, or we can log out. If we hit log out, there we go. So log in. We'll say you at you.com again. Give it the password. Log in, and we are done. So I hope this tutorial series helped you out. It's like I said, it's not much different than Laravel 3.2. There were some things that were different, but not a lot. So if you this video helped you out, go ahead and like it, subscribe. And I'll be back soon with another tutorial.